Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Under Ale. Remember, I don't remember what I was doing. Oh, we're going down into the cave system in this episode to investigate one of the Epony Lab, I think is what it was called, for the Protectorate. Having completed a job for them, a mission, quest, task, in the last episode. We'll get some fishing done as well and see if we can get a shrimp from one of these areas. While we're in the area, why don't we stop back by the Oculus? And just check to see if we see if there's anything new we can talk to them about. We've done a little bit of expedition work, so maybe they can help us with something? Or maybe not. I don't think I have anything I can sell to these good people. Or not so good people. No, I didn't bring anything with me. Hello, Azif. Yes. Alright, nothing new. Goodbye. I don't think we can... I don't think there's anything new in the computer consoles or anything of the sort, so let's just get back out there and continue with the Protectorate. I figured he might have been interested in what the Protectorate would be doing, but then again, he... They might have already placed cameras and what have you around with in the protectorate areas. We helped them do so with a similar thing back in uh, Rail Crossing, after all. Okay, time to fish as we look for more. As we look for shrimp, and hopefully we'll get some. Pentapus. Oh, I think someone, quite a few videos ago, had mentioned there is a, there's a warp point somewhere around here. Maybe it's on this side. Let's, I'm going to quickly check over here one more time just to see if there, there is one. I, they're very difficult to see. And there's none around here. I don't think there'd be one inside the ship itself. Or point being the things that I use the juice for to warp me from place to place. We'll check the other side of this. Maybe it's over there. I think down that way it leads to the Epony Lab anyway. Oh. Alright, let's just do this. So let's have a morphine. Up. Good. Kill the little ones. I think we can probably charge and stun you. Oh, I just barely... I, I can't stun it. Can it pummel it? Which almost kills it flat out. Brain, sir. I can just keep that. Oh, I see. I have. I see. I've left a few carapaces here a long time ago, or at least one of them. There you go. Take the poppy for more morphine, and I guess we should recharge our hammer. We might as well fish as well. Sorry, everyone. I know it's boring to watch us fish. So what can we talk about while I'm doing this stuff? So, I think an episode or two ago, I was talking about Pool of Radiance and how, how much I hated it. And I got to... I still played it anyway, despite the fact that I absolutely loathed most of the game. And I made it to the very end and decided that it wasn't worth doing the very end. Um... Hello, what's this? Oh, more carapaces. Let's review over here too then. I remember the battle against uh, Taraxinus, or whatever its name was, was particularly gruesome. Actually, let's look over here for that, that one portal. Uh, because it's a, it's a dragon. I think like a, a blue dragon or red dragon. I believe it uses like lightning bolts or fireballs. And it has like eight, level eight fighters with it. 
It was just, it's just terrible. <laughs> it's god awful. I remember hating it when I was really young, 13 or 12 or so, when I had last played the game. And I was like, nah, you know, I, I, I don't think I want to do this. And I transferred the characters over to Curse of the Azure Bonds, which is another game in that series. This was from the days when you could transfer characters from one game to the other. And I forgot how much better Curse of the Azure Bonds is. Gameplay-wise, it's more or less the same thing. So if you didn't like the combat in the first game, which I have many, many problems with, uh, that the, this game still suffers from all of those same issues. Most of the spells are useless. The combat is aggravating. You miss far more often than you hit. But at least in the beginning sections, you're not fighting hundreds of things. Oh, uh, that that's not fair. You're not fighting hundreds of things. Oh, is that a siphoner? It is. From like, ages ago, I think we we spawned you, siphoner. Thanks for your tongues. Okay, there's nothing, there's no teleport here either. Couple fish again, hope for a shrimp. But the graphics got a little bit of an improvement. There's still no music. The sound effects are still the same, but the story is a little better than, actually I'd have to probably say many times better, but still not saying much for, for the writing of the game, but it is better. Than, uh, than what it had been originally. Uh, originally, in, in Pool of Radiance, a previous game. Now, I always thought another game in that series was Hillsfar. I thought Hillsfar was the third in the series, but apparently it, it might not be. Hillsfar's might be the second game in the series, or something like that, or an off, or a, a game that you play at, a, at any point within it. And I think the third game is... Secrets of the Silver Blades. You resisted my shout, but you became visible. That's good enough for me. We can charge you. And insta-kill you. That was just one of them. There's more of them. I think we have at least two more of them. I think there's three total in this area. They know where I am. You got me. Good for you. Where did you go? I think you're here. And you are. Exactly where I thought you would be. And we missed. Probably around here. There he is. But I can't... I... Well... I can't kill it. Oh, I can kill it. Wonderful. And we get a crawler tail. Nice, we resisted the poison. Uh, we will also, as long as we're doing this, we should probably recharge our jackhammer. And fish here again. I can't. I really can't remember where the shrimp are. Should probably look that up online. Let me move my game over a little bit. The webcam is on the way, everyone. The webcam is on the way. It should arrive, I think, next week. So I'll finally get to say hello to all you guys. I need to pick up something so that I can record my house as well. This way you guys can see where I'm actually living. It, I think it'd be, uh, I don't know about if, what the appropriate word would be, but I've been doing this sort of thing for 10 years and no one has on online has seen me. Maybe it would help if you guys, well, help is also the wrong word. I think you guys might find it interesting just to see how, where I live, how small it is, what the house looks like, and what it's what it might be like to live in a man cave, which is what I do. So I don't think we got a whole lot of anything. We'll fish here one more time, and we just lost our juice. Just lost the juice. Let's speed this up. And while that's going, I'll pop open my web browser. up uh, under rail shrimp locations where can I get you from because we're not getting it here apparently shrimp can be caught in underground lakes 
If you have a fish, yes, I know that, but where can I get them from? Is there a discussion page on this? There is not. Okay. They only talk about the ghost face here. If I click on fishing, does that tell me where they're located? Forsaken Island, Silent Isle, Mushroom... Mushroom Cove! Oh! Okay, we'll go back to Mushroom Cove and take a peek then. And I'll stop fishing now that the internet has told me where I might be able to get one. Want to go south twice here. Oh, hello, rat hounds. Might as well take some more hearts and intestines. And adrenaline sacks. Uh, I don't really need their garbage. Leathers, though. That, you know, I don't even need the siphoner one. I probably should pick up some more mind troops. Yeah, so, I've I've played Curse of the Azure Bonds once. Eight, well, not once, that'd be the wrong thing to say. I played it for a bit, way back when, before the internet was out. I think in high school. And so that'd be in the, in the night, early 1990s. This is where I want to be. I want to go south again. And I remember being frustrated by the final boss. I think it was Tarantheus shows back up again, and he's got he's like Zeus. He throws he can throw I think two lightning bolts a turn, <laughs> and he looks like a big Greek god. And he's got like a hundred gargoyles with him as companions. I remember that fight. I just gave up uh, trying to actually complete it, and it'll probably be the same thing this time around. But thankfully, you don't have to beat the bosses, if I recall correctly, to transfer your characters uh, to the next game. And in fact, I don't even see what you gain from it. I guess you gain experience points for the battle. But otherwise, there's no real reason to do it, because if, if I recall correctly, in between every game, your characters are teleported or captured, and you lose all their equipment. So the only thing you benefit from are their stats, and any spells or characters might have memorized. It's stuck. The gate is just slightly raised. It seems stuck in that position. It also seems there is just enough space for you to crawl under. Let's try it. The space was narrow, but you made it through. Okay, everyone, this is all new. I have never stepped foot in this lab before. So no getting in or out. A door with a truck lock, which is not active. It looks like power is on, is on for this facility, but barely. Four flares on the tool. All these seven. Might as well take it. And sell anything that's uh, anything that is electronic will be worth a bit. Actually, that one part isn't worth carrying any longer. Right, we have hacking now, so we can open boxes. Some shield parts. We could always use another shield emitter basis. Burrowers. Not the most dangerous thing any longer. Wow. We're able to kill two of them with a single hit. That's amazing. That's two, two of them. Okay, wow, that was the wrong thing to say. We were able to kill, we able to kill both of them in one <coughs> round of combat. <coughs> uh, you're 
down 15 points, you know what, we'll charge you. Crap, it's still on cooldown. Ripper swarms are no match for our power armor. I'm really glad that I actually took that the increased damage on that taser. While well, it's expensive energy cell wise to benefit from it, it is it's still nice. We did enough damage there to to kill it. So what could be in here that they want so badly? I'm not sure. No power. Oh! Oh! There was a group of Protectorate that went to this location, and they died. So that might have been one of them. Or, that was a free drone who got them locked up in here. And the burrowers finished them off. We actually have a way to get through these rocks. Looks like a ton of noise, though. Hello. Let's investigate. A camera. Hephaestus re- Error, 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 error. Wow. We can exit with three, but I can't make sense of anything else. I'm not going to fiddle around with a console that I don't understand. I'm worried we could do more harm than good. There are burrowers around, I see. Guess we should have expected that by now. The camera is, has no one watching it. It's not hostile. That also means there's no automatic systems. Oh, we'll need to interact, interact with a computer if we want to open that door. Let's have a jumping bean and charge. That's four burrowers. I think we can still demolish them all. Oh my god! There's a burrower warrior here! So normally you would encounter those. The first time I ever encountered those was down in um, Deep Caverns. Shield. I'm not going to shout yet. Actually, let's yeah, let's shout. There's going to be so many of them, Tim. Another normal burrower is down. We killed a little one also. Yeah, we can kill these with a single hit, assuming our sledgehammer has power. Kill the normal ones first before we before we deal with the warriors if if we can. Because I don't want more of these things spawning. I don't think we need to take any drugs quite yet.
they will they get me? Okay. So they managed to surround me, but I think a single pummel will kill the little the little spawns. So we can pummel this warrior. Nice, we got lucky with a stun on it as well. Didn't quite kill it. Maybe the lightning will jump from this one. No, we're out of power. Let's take it. Just not enough. All right, let's scooch up. Oh, nice. Hey, we put a bleeding wound on that one. So that one should die next turn. I always forget that we have that effect. I will miss the big guy. There you go. Uh, we'll move up to avoid being attacked by this guy so often. I take it this is probably supposed to be a lot harder than it's going to end up being. It really helps that we have incredible equipment here. I suppose it also helps that we're level 26. We got a forked mandible from that one warrior's corpse. I just want to get all the remains checked so I can leave this crap someplace. Other carapaces in particular, which we don't need weighs a ton. Okay, we can recharge our hammer. We can recharge our shield. And I guess we should recharge our taser. And I saw something else moving down here, so that's not the last of the burrowers. my equipment holding up. Hammer could use a repair. More rocks. Good thing we brought enough dynamite with us for this area. Nothing else in this area. Okay. Let's, uh, can we get in here? Nope. No lock picking. All right, let's go ahead and break these rocks down then. You see a group of battered men, dirty and thin as rails. They appear as if you just dug them out of a grave. They stand there, staring at you. It's silent for a few moments, as if the men were unsure whether you're real or not. Maybe you're the savior they've waited for for so long, or maybe you're just another hallucination. One of the men speaks to you with a weak, dry-sounding voice. I knew it! The rescue team has arrived! The men cheer. I was expecting to find nothing but corpses, 
but I'm glad you're alive, if barely. I'm Corporal Gabriel. I'm Private Brady Holman, sir. He salutes you slowly with great effort. And you... You're magnificent. Ah, magnificent. We've been stuck here for... For a month. I don't even know... We were cornered by those filthy bugs. They swarmed us when the earthquake rocked this place, sir. We're out of food, drinking water, almost out of ammo. He gets off for a moment, but... He composes himself and continues. But now you're here, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And the burrowers... Gone, sir? Are you the only ones left alive? Yes, sir. I'm afraid so. Some were killed by the falling... Falling rocks. Some killed by the bugs. Just get us the hell out of here, sir. Did you manage to find anything of use in this facility? Nothing. Just nothing, sir. Only junk. It's a waste of resources and lives. This whole operation, a waste. I saw a dead man at the entrance. Is he one of yours? Yes, he is. We were desperate, sir. We had the tools to cut the pipe over there. It was big enough for a slim man like him to enter. We thought he could get help or at least reach the lobby. And the dreadnought there. Hmm. Let me ask you something. Actually, why did you leave the dreadnought there? You could have used it to kill the burrowers. When we first arrived here, the area was deserted, empty. There were no bugs, no nothing. At least, not as big as these. Getting around the narrow hallways is tricky in that machine. So we left it in a small room near the lobby. It stayed there for a week. We had no need for it. When this happened, the earthquake and the bugs, we were cut off from it, sir. The area has not yet been secured, Private. I'll return to you when it has. Sir, we are too weak to fight. You'll have to clear the whole path for us. Please hurry, sir. Oh, sorry about that. Good thing I didn't kill anyone, any of them. And this area looks secure to me. Maybe there's more left in this room. I expected to find all the troops dead as well. I didn't think anything was alive, especially when I saw burrowers in the area. So let's make sure this whole... Actually, it looks like we explored everything, too. What's left? Oh. This room? out to every single chamber. Won't be any problem. Sorry, but I'm not talking as much. I'm enjoying not knowing what's coming up. Hair kit, we don't need that. Alright, so we don't need you. Office 2 is cleared out. It's a hacksaw, which we don't need. Uh, low quality stuff, I guess that's worth taking. in the desks, either. The console abruptly restarts itself and returns you to the main menu. One. The screen freezes itself for half a moment. It's worth to say is interrupted by occasional visual glitching. Finally, the following word comes up on the screen. Opening. Hey, nice. We got to the Protectorate Dreadnought. Ammunition, weapons. Sorry, uh, ammunition only. A decent gun. Nothing in the locker. A electro spear. That's worth selling. Holy crap! We actually get to, to drive one of them. SBA 75 minigun. We don't have any weapon skill on it, so we're probably gonna miss like crazy and a drill. I guess this is how you would normally deal. 
with the... Oh yeah, you'd use the drill, drill through the rocks, and then you'd fight the burrowers. That'd be how you handle it. Single vial of poison antidote. We didn't even need it. Our shield absorbed all the hits from the burrowers earlier, and these those in that one room weren't able to get through my armor. Oh, the area hasn't not yet been secured? What's left? There's no more rocks. I don't see any more burrowers. Did I miss something over here? Oh, there is, but I, can I open this door? Okay, and now that's probably the last of them. Hello, a key card. This key card was found in Hesphestus Research and its label reads Office 3. Lots of insectoid saliva being gained here. I love it. We could definitely use that stuff. So where was Office 3? I guess this must be it? Yep. Okay, maybe now the whole area is secure. Let's double check, just to make sure. But it looks like I did not miss anything here. The elevator is out of order. We didn't see any way to power on anything either. I see no other doors here. The key card will not open the gate. How do we know we didn't secure the area, I wonder? Are we safe to move out, sir? The coast is clear. Time to go home, soldiers. The men who have dried up so much they look as if they turned to dust by merely moving. Now pick up their things in such a lively fashion that it makes you feel nothing short of amazement. Their freedom, now so close and tasty, appears to have unleashed the last reserves of energy they saved up <clears throat> only for this particular moment. They all nod at you as a thank you, some smiling, some even crying, as they hurriedly flee their, their prison. All right, well done. I, I have to say, so far, the Protectorate missions uh, don't are not showing them to be evil in any way. Uh, they arrived here at this facility for something that they wanted, and they did not find anything within within it. It is a BioCorp facility, so, you know, they were hoping maybe, I don't know what they were looking for, but they're probably, it was probably realistic to expect something to be within this facility that the Protectorate could use. Some research or information, technology or weapons or something of the sort, even a cache of ammo would have been helpful. Our next stop will be the Mushroom Cove, which we can't get to from here. I think it would be fastest. Oh, oh God. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, a cr that's Crawler Central in that chamber. I don't feel like fighting more crawlers. All right, let's uh, let's double back up here. We'll take the train to Southgate Station, and then we can go down and just waltz on over to the Mushroom Cove. Yeah, so we're not doing anything obviously evil. So so far, I have no problems with the Protectorate, unless I went the wrong direction. Unless somehow later on we we do so. There's still another one left. Oh, rat hounds! 
I remember when you were dangerous. Okay, I am not where I thought I was. So I guess we'll just head south a bunch of times till we reach Southgate Station. Been a long time since I traveled these tunnels anyway and heard this music. And seems like just the other day we were down here killing lunatics and iron heads and lurkers. And I remember fighting a group of them and being unable, not strong enough, to kill the cook and his and his group of iron heads. My goodness, how things have changed. I have to say that when it comes to games like this, where the creatures you run into, they they don't level with you, but instead are are locked to a particular strategy or level or like it they're not more difficult as you level up. They remain exactly the same. I prefer this way of playing. It, I think it rewards you a little more for exploring. You'll die, but then you can come back and kill them and see what hopefully level appropriate stuff they were carrying on themselves. It also gives you something to look forward to, like coming back and whooping them in vengeance for their early whooping of you. Ah, Southgate Station. Technically, remember everyone that this is, I think, is supposed to still be our home. I never really felt that way, though, in this game with any of the characters I use. Even if I do uh, obey Tanner and Vera Hale and stuff like that, or Gorski, I just, I don't know. I've always felt that Core City is the proper place where all of my characters end up living in given that you get a, another job there, and you have an actual house there that they give you. So while we're here in Southgate Station, we might as well visit all the locations and sell some stuff, etc, etc. Hey, Lucas. So, give you these, which are not worth anything. I think that might be most of your cash. That's all of your cash. So I, you probably don't have anything else I'm interested in. Given your low level, the only thing I might want is a repair kit. I'm okay, so we'll just take some South Gate Station credits. We'll go to medical next. We'll pick up some, uh, what are they called? Ampules? For our crafting needs. Then, while we're doing this sort of thing, we may as well process, uh, extract humors. Because hammerheads weigh four pounds each, and their blood weighs just one. So we'll take them out. Tells you slack jaw. Hearts converted to blood as well. That weighs a little less. I suppose we'll visit the engineering lab and see if we can get some more credits from Ezra. I'm always also amazed at how fast an episode of Underrail goes by. It's so quick. Okay, so he'll buy this. That is most of his... That's his, the least amount of his credits. That's even more of them. He's buying one blueprint. We'll sell him that one. That's lots of his cash. We could probably use some more batteries. To 
make up for all the ones we've been using. Thank you, Ezra. Might as well visit Harold. Uh, Harold? This isn't Harold. Is it Harold? It is Harold. I got his name right. Hey, Harold, do I have anything you will buy? Only be pair kits and I want those. I think we can get more ampules down here at the agronomy labs, so we might as well visit this location as well. Plus, I can sell maybe a handful of things I don't want. Our food expired, so we should eat some more. Quinton, hello. You do not sell any ampules, okay. You will buy two medicines only today. You will buy three organs. We'll just sell that stuff. Okay. Now down and out to the Mushroom Cove, where we will hopefully get a shrimp. Then we can go over to, whatchamacallit, Junkyard, and turn that quest in. I'm trying to get the fastest way to Mushroom Cave. That, that might have, Cove, that might have been from... Junkyard. Oh, right. They added a few new creatures here as well now. We'll have those... How about the... Uh, camel crickets or cave crickets to fight on the way down here. There's a small chance I think you can get some insectoid saliva, though, so it's worth killing them for us. I think the insectoid saliva is used in the um, jumping beans, if I remember correctly. Which we still have 16 of. Nice. Oh, I thought there were some around there. I guess not. Or maybe they all cleared out once a certain event passes so as not to slow you down any longer. I do really enjoy that this game is still being worked on, even to this day. Oh, you know, it's almost have the internet up. I've heard... that they would be working on psionics. Codename Infusion, a developer log from March 11th. So not too recent. Oh, wow, this looks great, though. What the heck is this? Uh, so I'm, I'm reading something that the devs put up on uh, March 11th. Hey, guys. This is from Stig himself. I think he was the main developer for this game. Back in October, I mentioned that we started working on a new standalone Underrail campaign. This is still true, but we've also decided that we're going to give the engine a major upgrade, which will help us create a much better game, both visually and mechanically. The thing is... There are certain design and technical decisions that were made early during development of Underrail that are very limiting to us now, but are not easy to change just due to the amount of content we would have to re be redone. So instead of taking a hammer to our beloved game, we're going to improve upon all these things that we yearn to do for years in a fresh standalone game that will still be based on the same engine core and gameplay mechanics. We call this game Underrail Infusion. I'm not going to list all the things that we intend to change and improve upon in Infusion, but I will say that they include both the visuals, as well as mechanics and world design. I'm going to try to post more frequent devlogs, as I did back in Underrail's alpha days, as to keep you guys in the loop. And we'll be back to read the rest of that in a few seconds. Oh, 
All that you see in these early days, you should consider to be a work in progress. I don't expect we're going to enter full production anytime soon. Not this year, for sure. As for now, we're just focusing on improving the engine, the toolset, and optimizing the content pipelines. First thing I want to show you are the new environment graphics. Keep in mind that Infusion will be taking place in a completely different part of Underrail, so this is not a rework of any existing tile set, but a new one. And it looks great! I like the lighting that I see in this. The lighting in Underrail has always been decent, but I like it. This picture. Again, everyone, I'm on the Underrail forums itself, and are we not going to get any fish from this location? Oh, hold on. We could get fish from, from these rods, too, couldn't we? I should watch all the rods. I've done a lot of work on rendering the engine and the way the assets are organized and rendered, which allows Mac to more easily produce and organize. Sorry, I got to trying to read over on one side of the screen while looking at this on my big, huge monitors is tricky. Uh, organize a bunch of different variations on the same object, and also easily animate them or give them other visual properties and behaviors without having to go into the gameplay code. Inversely, gameplay stuff can now be easily implemented, implemented turning out new content. Technically, we're sticking with the same tile size, 96 by 48, but we're going to make the tile relatively smaller in regards to objects. That is, everything's going to get bigger, which will increase the graphic the graphical fidelity. This is going to affect various combat mechanics as well, but we'll discuss those at a later date. That's it for now. We have more exciting stuff that we've been working on in the meantime as well, but it's not quite ready to be shown still. Let us know how you guys like the new visuals. Also, in a few months, you can expect the new content update for Underrail. This one's probably going to be released on Experimental Branch first, and we'll stay there for a while, just due to the nature of the gameplay changes I've made. I'm sure you'll all be very happy with the changes, but just in case you might want to experience psionic characters in their current form before that happens. As I suspected, yep. Okay. Well. That's exciting. And that post was made a month ago. Stig tends not to update very often. Uh, it tends to be like once every few months, like six months, seven months, once Underworld had been released. Okay, so here we are. And we've got only a few more minutes left of this episode. We will go ahead and try fishing a little bit and see what we can get here. If, if the mechanic, it sounds like so. It sounds like the base game here probably won't be being moved over to this new infusion that they're working on. That was the impression I got. But the new game will be will be using it. I'm very interested in what they'll change about the combat for the game. I I really like the combat in this game. Very, very much so. Come on, game. Give us a fish. Give it to us. A fish? No, a shrimp. I always, say, I always say fish when I mean shrimp. It's the last fish I need, and then I'll never, ever fail another attempt at this ever. We gotta get one of these first. Must be the one fish that we're just failing to catch over and over and over again. Of course, all the fish are useful because we can get blood from them. An angler fish, it's not a shrimp. Let's try over here. Oh, well, that wasn't where I expected it to go. I think I think any spot's good. Burr poison throwing knife. Find the darndest things out here. Don't go swimming. You might get stab yourself with the foot with one of those. Yeah, so Cursed Azure Bonds has been interesting. I remember some very painful battles. Lots and lots of saving and reloading. And many, many attempts to heal my characters. And I think at the time I had been using two clerics. This time around I'm using two mages. Which makes for more AoE damage and control. But makes, uh, oh, healing takes forever with one cleric. Oh, it's frustrating. 
Oh, I took it. I took you away, but we hit another fish. All right, doesn't matter. We're gonna fish the hell out of this location, everyone, for like another ten minutes, and that's gonna that's gonna do it for us. So there's not gonna be any new content, I think. If we do find the shrimp, uh, and by that I mean we're not doing anything else new this episode, unless I do. I guess suppose unless I do find the shrimp, in which case we'll go turn it into Mr. Ford. But I won't do any any new stuff with the protectorate in this episode. Come on, game. Give me a stupid shrimp. The internet told me it's here. The internet told me the ghost face could be fished up where we actually managed to find it in the sewer system. Ten. Coming for you. What else have I been doing? Uh, playing more Ch Children of Morta. So I had taken a break from that game for a while. Not, not for any of the reason that the pandemic began and my concerns were in regards to very different things. Um, the game also takes a long time to compress and at night, which is when I would normally do that sort of thing, I have actually been... I've been uh, turning off the computer, which is a bit odd, but I've been doing that because I've been t sleeping. Uh, so, okay, well, obviously I've been sleeping at night, Tim. Explain why you turn off the computer. So, my computer has a graphics card and another thing within it, I forget what it is at the moment, but they light up at night. I've been like, they light up all the time. And so I have glowy things inside the computer. My computer case has a window uh, in it. So you can see inside of it, look how amazing it looks. Well, this is annoying because at night when I'm trying to sleep, it lights the whole bedroom up. And that light keeps me from sleeping very well. And so recently I've discovered that if I do turn off the computer, that holy crap, I get much better sleep. I sleep instead of like two hours and then waking up to use the bathroom or something. I sleep for five, maybe even six hours. But the whole night might might go by, and so it's uh, it's I I no longer compress at night. I guess we'll kill these. So we'll kill these. Just two of you today, really. Got one, not the other. I thought for sure there were going to be more hiding around the corner. Let's take all that garbage here. And we'll fish here quickly too. So because I wasn't... I wasn't playing that game at night and going to bed and then compressing it. Uh, and because I... Well... Uh, the nighttime compression is was one of the things that I took advantage of because I'm not sleeping, I'm not playing any games. So the computer can just go ahead and compress down the games I recorded, which will take again anywhere from like five to six hours, depending upon the game I'm playing and the graphical fidelity. We might as well use what Stig said uh, of the game. Uh, it can take a long, long time to do that. And we're not getting shrimp from this cave. Shrimp from this cave. So, uh, this meant that I would stick to recording just under rail, and games like The Witcher 3, or The Children of Morta, or other games which I run on a high resolution, uh, those weren't being played as often. But, uh, now that the, my pandemic panic is over, uh, I can probably slip in some more recording of those games without worrying too much, because I'm home all day. My original concern was that work would have me come into work, even though I was sick. It was encouraged for you to use your time off, but I used all my sick time off. I used the vast majority of my vacation time off, and I was still sick. Uh, in case you guys don't remember, I had gotten sick with something back in early February, and it stayed with me till mid-March. I was sick for basically five to six weeks with whatever that was. It was terrible. I'm not getting any shrimp here. Trip in one more location. I 
I, I, I had sweated through all my clothes when I was sick. I had a very slight fever. Uh, I, I had that feeling that you're sick. Was it, that's called like a malaise or something like that. I can't pronounce that word. But I felt sick. Uh, I, had a, I had a cough that showed up. And I was so achy. Oh, everything hurt. And, oh, headaches. Very weird. A headaches in my neck, especially. My neck felt so stiff. Oh, it really hurt. But uh, thankfully, all that is now over. It left me about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. And now I am back to my normal self. Let's go fishing here. Come on, game. Please give me a Oh, you know what? We can also check for shrimp with the guy in Junkyard. He might be selling them. So if we don't get any shrimp in the next two minutes, once, my, once that food expires, that'll be it for this episode, everyone. The food buff. And so if we don't get any 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 shrimp... Oh, wow. So it's about to end. <laughs> about to end this episode, everyone. I'm still not getting any shrimp. So I guess we'll probably call the session here, and I'll stop babbling. There's, not, there's, a, there's nothing new I'll, I'll be doing on screen. And so, uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, sorry about this. A lot of fishing without any results. Kind of boring. I will find that shrimp off screen, and I will wait to turn in, in the quest with you guys uh, on screen. When we come back. So, thank you guys for watching this, and I will hopefully see you all in the next one. We'll, we'll turn in the quest to Geezer Ford, assuming I have managed to find a shrimp somewhere, and we will turn in the one quest for the Protectorate and see what they want us to do next. I will see you guys then. Thank you all for watching, and take care, everyone.